Good evening, everyone. I'm Roberto Calandrini, and I work as a scientific software manager for uh, an Italian gas company. I worked uh, in the Pi School for uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers on uh, a project on uh, automatic document classification with AI. Okay, uh, what we target here is uh, a problem experienced by senior level auditors and lawyers uh, that spend too much time trying to classify documents before getting to uh, the analysis of real insights uh, coming from those documents in routinary process like merge and acquisition analysis. So this kind of analysis is data intensive, uh, needs skilled lawyers and auditors in order to process those data, even at the very first level, uh, that just does classification. So they mostly end up uh, gaining insight on from just 20 to 30 percent of the entire data set or the entire data room that is made available by, uh, by their target. Uh, so we picked up uh, publicly available data set uh, called RVL CDIP is a legal and financial archive and it contains 400,000 document images uh, divided in 16 classes and already labeled. Our objective was to uh, work with these uh, real world documents that are scanned documents so as many different uh, kind of problems like rotation, skewing and uh, um, other kind of problems and end up with a system able to classify them in a robust and reliable way. So what we developed? Uh, mm, I developed two main approaches here. Uh, one based on the state of the art that use convolutional neural network that was already cited before is a uh, state of the art algorithm used for image processing and classification. And the other one I use as a baseline and to try an unsupervised learning algor algorithm was based on feature engineering, so manual feature, uh, feature engineering plus a common classifier. <coughs> this was uh, just a sketch of, uh, of the implementation. The real uh, architecture used was based on AlexNet. Uh, a typical convolutional neural network used for, for document classification. My main contribution uh, was to develop uh, also a, a different algorithm that was able to uh, classify documents never seen before, so not supervised. Uh, this could be useful uh, for the lawyer or for the auditor uh, because the data room could contain new documents, new class of documents, never saw before, so training a uh, supervised learning algorithm in order to predict those classes could fail. The result was a robust and reliable method for uh, the image document classification uh, that is also able to, to work on previously unseen documents. And interesting feature work could be done on uh, the merge of uh, image analysis and text analysis in order to do content auto discovery of the documents and uh, the queryable data room. So uh, that was my presentation. I'd like to thank again my sponsor, PricewaterhouseCoopers, and my mentor, Ricardo Sabatini, and of course, PySchool.